Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, quick blender video. Uh, often when I record videos uh, someone always asks me what theme am I using? Well currently I'm using a the uh, Modo theme uh, with, with a few tweaks in it. So what I thought I would do is uh, show you how to tweak up your themes and also uh, show you some resources uh, so that uh, you can download uh, a few themes. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to File and go to User Preferences. Also, you could uh, use Control Alt U. Okay. So let's go to themes. Okay. Um, the first thing you may want to do is uh, choose the area you want to uh, um, add your colors and stuff to. Uh, currently, I have the 3D view over here in uh, this uh, selection set. And uh, basically, here you have your grid colors and your. Uh, your wire colors and a vertex edges so on and so forth uh, pretty often what I will do is uh, if I'm working on a project and um, for some reason I need uh, uh, for instance a uh, vertex color changed uh, I'll just come in here and change the vertex color temporarily while I'm working on that project and uh, and I'll do that without clicking here save user, user settings because uh, as long as uh, uh, if you tweak any of these uh, colors or settings um, and then you do not use uh, uh, save user settings um, then it will go back to whatever uh, the default was that you were using. So if you want to tweak uh, one of these colors um, and you do want to save it, just be sure that you uh, save user settings before you leave out of the preferences. Okay, um, that is enough about that. Well, now let's see. Let me go ahead and mention this. Uh, we have the theme background color which is uh, under 3D view and down towards the bottom. Uh, I have been asked several times about how I got the gradient color. Uh, so what you need to do is under theme background colors put a check in the checks check box there and then you have these uh, couple of color inputs here and uh, the first one is gradient low and that's which is the uh, darker lower color and then across from that uh, the gradient high is uh, the lighter color so anyway that's enough about that part let's uh, go over here and choose user interface okay basically uh, this is, is uh, most of these colors in your toolbars and so on and so forth. You'll basically have to go through here and uh, just figure out what is what. There's, uh, for instance, your radio buttons, uh, your number fields, value slider box, uh, your menu colors, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so those are some other settings that you can go in and play with and and remember um, if you don't like the way they they look after you tweak them uh, just exit out of there without uh, using the saver user settings okay uh, now let's uh, go right here and scroll back up here 
Okay, now presets, preset themes. Uh, I don't remember what uh, the current themes are that are included in uh, the default Blender now. Um, uh, but there are, I don't even remember. I have a uh, folder where I've saved some themes. So basically you can go up under presets and just uh, click that drop down and choose the uh, color scheme you want to use. And so anyway, if I need to add a theme, you have the uh, little plus symbol out here by your drop down menu and you can just click that. Well, after you've, uh, pardon me, I messed up there. Um, if you've created a theme and you want to save it, then you can click the little plus button, give it a name, and say OK, and then it'll be saved there. Okay, if you need, uh, want to uh, reset it to default, uh, the theme that uh, Blender comes in is right down here reset to default and then if you need to install a theme you have an install theme button there and then you can just go to uh, the folder where you've uh, saved a theme and then you can just install it from there uh, for instance here's the uh, Maya 2013 theme Anyway, let's go just open a new one. I uh, prefer the uh, the Moto theme. I was using the Maya 2013 theme there for a short while. Uh, but the uh, Moto theme, for me, I really like the brightness. Uh, the, that orange or deep yellow color. Okay, let me show you where to get a few themes. Okay, um, these the um, the links that I'm going to go to, uh, I will also put in the description. So the first place are in extensions. and the wiki.blender.org and what you can do is uh, this uh, go to this page on the wiki and then uh, current version download and under uh, we'll just click that and wait on it to open I don't know why things are so slow I don't know why I got a certificate or security warning. Okay. Anyway, after you click that, you'll have a uh, XML file, theme files uh, here. And what you want to do is uh, you will find the Moto there, Soft Blend, and uh, ZBrush, and so on and so forth themes. And so what I'll do is I'll just hover over that link and I'll right click and I'll save a uh, link as and save it to a folder wherever uh, you want to save it. I, I have a uh, folder that I just named blender themes and I keep them all in there. Okay uh, the next place I want to show you is the blender artist community. It is basically a great resource for anything to do with Blender but uh, you can always go to the forum and scroll down until you go to released scripts and themes and click there and what you'll have to do is just scroll through the threads there and find the ones that say theme and usually they do provide a link so you can uh, 
go and download it. And a matter of fact, here's the, I believe the last one posted was uh, the theme, which is clear white. Uh, anyway, there's a zip file there, and then you can stick that in your themes folder. Save it. Okay, and last, but most certainly not least, is BlendSwap. And uh, BlendSwap is a great uh, resource for Blender downloads. Uh, you can find uh, Blend files, models, and themes, which is what we're talking about. So, um, under Blends, you can just go here and choose Categories. And you scroll through here and find the one that says Blender Themes. And you should be aware that uh, you'll have to register here, I believe, to download uh, these themes. Um, it does not cost to do downloads, but I believe you are limited to, I don't remember how many megs per month. Um, you're limited to, I think it's 14 or 140, I, I don't remember, but, uh, and that's with the free, uh, the free membership, there is a paid membership, a premium membership that you can get, and, uh, and <clears throat> I believe it's unlimited downloads, but the, Unless you're gonna go download crazy, probably the uh, the you're probably not gonna download uh, that many themes or or uh, blends that is as it is anyway. See, so, and also here you can uh, download some brushes uh, for sculpting some materials. And anyway, just scroll through there. Uh, blend blend swap is a really good. Uh, resource for Blender. And if you're a new user and just learning the model, maybe you want to uh, download a model or something and just kind of look the way it was modeled. So anyway, that's going to about do it for uh, this quick little video about Blender themes. And if you have any questions, just uh, please feel free to ask and I will try to I will make sure I put those uh, three links in the description of the video so please like this video subscribe and uh, don't forget to share this video also have a great day